you probably think you don't have enough time to grow a YouTube channel, but that's potentially no longer true because AI has gotten so good, it's changing the way that people grow their channels and their businesses. So in this video, I'm going to show you eight AI tools that are going to revolutionize how you use YouTube forever, from thumbnails to scaling production to moving you 10 times faster and easier. But before we start, I need to put these glasses on because I have very bad eye strain and the opticians told me to. Elton John mode is now activated, so let's, let's get cracking. All right, so this first AI is free. You can access it from the link in the description. And what it's going to do is this. So in about two minutes, it'll tell you exactly what to put in your next video so that it stands more of a chance of breaking out and growing your channel. And it's going to do that based on what your viewers have said about similar videos. So things like what they loved, what they hated, what confused them, what questions remained unanswered. And then it's going to give you a step-by-step -step guide telling you exactly what to put in your video to give them absolutely everything they loved and a bit more. What that means is you can just stop guessing about what to include and just make what's in demand faster. So you can see what it's spat out on screen right now. Feel free to pause it and give that a read. It's flipping amazing. All right, so this next one, this AI is how I produced a workshop that usually takes me about four to five days in an afternoon. And I simply cannot express how much of a game changer this is. So let me just show you a few ways I'm using this to 4X my output. 4X is not an exaggeration either. This is blowing my mind. So let's say you wanna make a video or you wanna make a social media post and you're like, I know what to say, but I kind of want to level it up a bit and I want to include some deeper info and I want to make sure I didn't miss anything, but I don't want to spend hours researching. All you do is you use this and it will search the web for you and come back with a ton of information that you can add to your content. But it's not just that. That's just like basic mode. So check out this prompt that I wrote. It says, I want you to research the best ways to create an email nurture system. I want you to find tricks and tips people have for them as well as look for the best system I can use for building my own. Search Reddit, Twitter, blogs, YouTube. I then want you to outline what the perfect system from the methods they give you is. Make sure you go deep on things like sending frequency, the type of emails to send, and then make each type of email into a template anyone could adapt to their own. Also, I want you to give advice on how much to sell, ways to sell, and if there's any different selling techniques for different price points. Anyway, it goes away and does its thing. I mean, half an hour later, it came back with this. I think this is the best guide on building an email nurture campaign, kind of for beginners, because it made it so simple. So then what I did was I took this guide, I pasted it into another doc, and I spent basically half a day editing it and then adding my own things to it that maybe it didn't include or I wanted to build on. Now, I need to be clear. I have a lot of experience with email marketing, so I do know this stuff. I'm not going in completely blind. But there were a few things where I thought, do you know what? I didn't know that, that's a great little tip. But also there's a few things I thought, you know what, I can do better. So this is more like a turbocharger for an engine, not the engine itself. But it doesn't end there, this gets better. So imagine if you could free up just one extra hour a day to focus on your business or channel. That would give you two weeks of time extra a year and you could do so much more with that time. Well, this bot actually makes it a reality because growing a channel or business isn't just about working on the business, it's about removing the things that get in the way of you working on it too. So let's say you wanna go on holiday, which sounds amazing, right? But it can take like five hours to plan flights and what you wanna do. So here you would just tell it your budget, where you wanna go, what sort of weather you want, what sort of experiences, ask it to go and research and then get it to come out of a plan. This is kind of one of the things about business and YouTube. People are always looking at how can I get more productive. One of the best ways to do that is to remove as much life admin as you can. Now, the only downside really is this is OpenAI's pro level, so it's about $200 a month. But for businesses out there, you could use this probably once a month and it will pay you back in time savings. So that brings me on to our next AI, and this is just another game changer too. So imagine if you could clone yourself. How much more do you think you could get done? Well, I have. I built a bot to give intro feedback, script feedback, sales page feedback, do research. Basically, I have all these different versions of me that can do all different types of tasks who doesn't get tired or miss obvious things or who doesn't have a bad day and struggles to focus or think. And it could provide me a really high quality second opinion on anything I produce. So now when I'm writing, I am so much faster because AI will help me edit the first draft, which again probably saves me about one to two hours per script. And if you really want to pump steroids into this thing, watch this, this is insane. So I went back to the research bot and I typed this in. <laughs> I want you to build a bot that turns YouTube scripts or emails into short form video scripts. To do that, I want you to research how to write the perfect short form video. I want you to find the most popular styles for educators and help me compile rules for writing each of them. I want you to find Reddit forums that have short form hacks and any piece of advice that can get me more views on YouTube shorts, reels, and TikTok. I then want you to create templates anyone could use to make short form scripts. Now, this was the first time I ever used this, so I didn't really have much of an expectation for it. <laughs> but it's about this guide. Look at it. 
The depth is insane. There's templates for each of the best performing video styles. So I basically just tweak what it's written and I can add a few more things, but it's created a short form system. But it doesn't stop there. <laughs> because I then asked the AI, if you can take this guy that you've made and turn it into a prompt, I can then use to build my own AI bot so that I can feed in sections of a script and it will produce three different styles of short form scripts based on these guides and my rules. <laughs> and bosh, each script can give me like five short form posts and it gives me different styles of scripts based on the viral formats that it's researched. So in an hour, I've got like 10 pieces of content and the skeptics are going to be like, oh, I can tell it's AI, it's spitting out crap. Well, yeah, if you spend all of your day analyzing AI posts, you might be able to tell, but what it's putting out isn't bad if you know how to edit it. Now, these bots, they're not good enough for long form script share. And if you don't know how to write, you're not going to get as much out of this as people who do know how to write because you're not going to know how to spot the quality outputs over the kind of crappy ones. So what I think you should be doing right now is just make a list of absolutely everything that takes time, everything you wish you could do a bit faster, everything you hate, and just ask AI how it can help you build systems and processes to fix these issues. And when you do that, you're using AI to build more AI. And I'm pretty sure that's how the robot apocalypse starts. <laughs> anyway, these little bots, they're called GPTs. You can make them on an open AI subscription and they're very, very simple to set up. And no, not everything I make is AI now. <laughs> All right, so this next AI is another 10x speeder upper. -er. <laughs> it looks like this. So the issue with the YouTube community wall, which is, by the way, getting more engagement for me now versus Twitter by a mile, is if you don't include an image, well, it doesn't quite pop as much, right? Well, but making images where well, it takes a long time until now, because watch this, right? Now you can scroll scripts into this called Napkin AI, and let's just hit enter, wait a little bit, boom. It turns it into these cool little visuals. Now, simple diagrams like this are a fantastic tool for simplifying your ideas and kind of improving information uptake. And look, I've just made one for this video right now. It's good, right? Now, don't just drop your entire script in, just do it in little sections, maybe like a point at a time, and it will give you some strong outputs. It's called Napkin AI. All right, which moves me on to the next one. So have you ever put off learning a new software because of the time it takes to get to grip with? Well, you don't need to worry anymore because this AI is basically like having a little tutor that sits next to you telling exactly what button to push anytime you want to learn some software. And it works like this. You can basically just talk to it and say out loud stuff. So here's a demo I shot earlier. So the first thing we do is go to aistudio.google.com, go to stream real time, click this little start recording, allow it. How do I start a new project in Final Cut Pro? Final Cut Pro, go to the file menu, then select new and then choose project. Is there anything else I can help you with today? In Photoshop, how do I adjust the size of my image? To adjust the size of your image in Photoshop, go to the image menu, then select image size. What kind of project are you working on today? It's a thumbnail for YouTube videos. Okay, so for a YouTube thumbnail, you'll want to make sure the image size is 1,280 pixels wide by 720 pixels high, with an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. Would you like me to walk you through the steps in Photoshop? No thanks, but could you write, plan, record, and post a video for me? You're great. I understand that you want me to write, plan, record, and post a video for you, but I cannot perform those actions, as I'm just a text-based program. However... You're fired! You're fired! Shut up! <laughs> So Photoshop, marketing software, Notion, any of that, you could try it and this could help slash the learning curve, which for editing software and Photoshop on YouTube, I know is a massive time suck for people. So I can't quite believe we have this. The next AI, this is another freebie. It's gonna save you about 20 minutes per video, I reckon. And it's all to do with these little things called chapters. So you see below my video, if you drag your mouse along, there's these like different sections. Well, it's kind of a good service for an educator to add these chapters to your video, especially if you're doing like a deep dive or a listicle. The thing is, I hate doing them. They take ages, they're kind of like really fiddly, and you can get a VA to do it, that's fine, but you could just show them this method too and it might help. Now, YouTube will auto chapter these, but I don't like its auto chapters, it often gets them kind of wrong or says things I don't want it to say in the chapter, I like to have a little bit more curiosity than just saying what it is. So what I do is, upload my video, and then go to this tool here, pop in the URL, it then tells me the transcript, plus all the times, I then just throw that into my favorite AI and ask it to make some video chapters. Now you have to be careful, because it will know what you're asking for, but if your prompt sucks, it's gonna give you crap back. So you might need to adjust it a little bit to refine your prompt. But basically, 
it'll write the chapter for you and come up with intriguing names if you ask it to, and then you just need to check it. Now, sometimes it does need a bit of a tweak, but most of the time it's really good. It's saving me a lot. So if you do have team members, this is another thing, like you need to be training them on this stuff now, because if you have four team members and you forex their output, congratulations, you've got 16 team members without the 16 team member headache. Now, this next AI, I'm keeping my little beady eye on because it's not quite there yet, but I do think it might be very soon. And basically it's just gonna enable you to make 25 videos at a touch of a button. So what you do is you drop a link in and then the AI cuts up your clips. You've probably seen this, it's not that new. And it gives you these outputs, it adds subtitles, you can edit it, the editor's really easy to use. But here's what's interesting. So one thing you should maybe be thinking about if you wanna use a tool like this is making sure you ton of hooks at the start of every point so that it's optimized for short form. Because I put one of my deep dives in and out of the 25, I'd say five were very good, five were okay, and the other 10 were kind of a bit like meh, but that's 10 pieces of content from pushing a button. Now there is a downside. When your video's got a ton of graphics or screenshots on it, then they're very good because it's all out of sync with the video. So one thing I'm considering doing is just exporting the video with no graphics, nothing, just like a shot like this, and then loading it up to kind of make the whole workflow a lot simpler. Now I spoke to a few short form exports recently and said, is this a good strategy for growth? They said no, but I also had a chat with James Smith about it and he said, actually repurposing, just putting up clips, it will get people in your DMs and you can convert that way. Now this thing's called Opus Clips, no, they're not sponsoring me. Now this next AI, this is gonna level your thumbnail skills up five years in half an hour. And my clients are using it to make images like this. It's a complete game changer. Now, it's a little fiddly to set up, but I think for most people, especially if you're a beginner, this just dropped the thumbnail barrier to entry like years. It's called Replicate. You basically take a bunch of photos of yourself, you load them in, and then you can write a prompt like Ed sitting at a desk, or you can do this. You can put Ali Abdal's thumbnail in and then have it make your own version, which unless I changed it was the thumbnail I used for this. Sorry, Ali. Now we don't want to use this thing to like rip off thumbnails. We want to use it to be heavily inspired. And then we want to tweak it ourselves to make it unique because there's no point being another clone as someone else. So with all this in mind, what is going to happen to YouTube now? Because the barrier for entry is dropping at an alarming speed. Well, certain things are going to get easier, but the fundamentals, I don't think they're going to change. So if you want to learn how to master the fundamentals and go from zero to a million dollars on YouTube, watch this video next, because I believe there's almost nothing in that will be impacted by AI.